friends welcome to panesha tutor today we are going to discuss a very important part for ugc net economics exam that is demography demography includes topics such as terminology of population studies libenstein's theory of population becker's theory of population and malthusian theory of population we will cover these topics in another lecture but today we will only discuss the first part of this topic that is terminology of population studies please listen to this lecture very carefully because nearly 5 to 6 questions are asked from this topic every time in exam so we are going to start with terminology of population studies the first terminology we will study is population pyramid what is population pyramid before studying population pyramid you should know that it is also known as age pyramid it is also known as age pyramid what it shows or what it tells about it tells about the growth rate of population among various age groups the population pyramid is dependent mainly upon four factors that are age and sex distribution natural increase in population extent of economic development birth rates and death rates now there are three types of pyramid first one is stable pyramid second one is expansive pyramid and third one is constructive pyramid so what is stable pyramid in stable pyramid there is no change in birth rates and death rates of population in expansive pyramid birth rates and death rates are quite high and in constructive pyramid birth rates and death rates are quite low so the pyramid is shown on your screen the growth rate of population is shown on x axis and the age distribution is shown on y axis the next term we are going to study is age distribution so what is age distribution age distribution means the proportion or percentage of population in a particular age clan or a particular age group now we will study age specific fertility rate so what is age specific fertility rate it means the annual number of births which are occurring to a woman of a specific age it has a formula what is the formula for age specific fertility rate its formula is number of live births of a particular age and time divided by number of years lived by a woman in that particular age now next we will study total fertility rate now what is total fertility rate it measures the fertility rate of a hypothetical cohort of a women now how it is calculated it is calculated by the summation of age specific fertility rates when we add age specific fertility rates it becomes total fertility rate now next we will study life expectancy at birth so what is life expectancy generally we know that life expectancy means average number of years a person is expected to live or average number of years a newborn baby is expected to live but world health organization has given a very expansive definition of life expectancy now let's look at that definition what is the definition given by who according to who life expectancy means the average number of years a person is expected to live on the basis of its current mortality rates and prevalence distribution of birth states in a population in 1962 the life expectancy was 42 and in 2000 it become 62 now we will study three important concepts related to mortality first one is maternal mortality ratio second one is maternal mortality rate and third one is proportion of maternal deaths so what is maternal mortality ratio maternal mortality ratio means the number of maternal deaths per 1 lakh live births so friends keep in mind its measure is 1 lakh it means it is calculated as per 1 lakh live births so what is maternal mortality rate maternal mortality rate is just similar to maternal mortality ratio but the only difference is that the maternal mortality rate is calculated age specifically this it is same like maternal mortality ratio but only the age specific factor is added to maternal mortality rate now we will study proportion of maternal deaths so what is proportion of maternal deaths it means the number of maternal deaths during a given time period divided by the number of women at a reproductive 
age. So it's a very simple. When we divide the maternal death divided by the rate of reproductive age or a woman of reproductive age, then it becomes the proportion of maternal death. Now we will study a very important concept that is crude birth rate. What is crude birth rate? Crude birth rate means number of live births per thousand children. Means it is calculated per thousand. Number of live births per thousand children is crude birth rate. Now, what is the formula for calculating crude birth rate? Its formula is number of live births divided by total population into thousand. Now, what is crude death rate? It, it is just similar to crude birth rate. The crude death rate means the number of deaths per thousand children. So, what is the formula for calculating crude death rate? Its formula for calculating crude death rate is number of deaths divided by total population into thousand. Now, natural increase in population is the difference between crude birth rate and crude death rate. Friends, keep in mind that natural increase in population is simply the difference between crude birth rate and crude death rate. Now, the next term we are going to study is dependency ratio. Dependency ratios are of three types. That is age dependency ratio, child dependency ratio and old age dependency ratio. Now, what is child dependency ratio? Before studying all these concepts, we should know what is dependency ratio. So, dependency ratio is the proportion of population who are dependent upon the working population. In India, the working population is considered between the age of 15 and 65 years. Now, we should know what is child dependency ratio. Child dependency ratio means the number of children who are below the age of 15 years that is between 0 to 14 years dependent upon the working population that is who are between the age of 15 to 65 years. Now how it's calculated? It's calculated by the number of children who are between age of 0 to 14 years divided by number of people who are between 15 to 65 years that is working population into 100. Now, what is old age dependency ratio? Old age dependency ratio is calculated by the number of people who are above 65 years divided by the working population, the people who are between 15 to 65 years into 100. Now, what is age dependency ratio? Age dependency ratio is simply the addition of child dependency ratio and old age dependency ratio. Next, we will study the two terms that is closed population and open population. Now, what is closed population? Closed population means that no new person is entered into the economy or no new person has been migrated into the economy. And open population means that new persons are entering into the economy, new population is entering into the economy, migrate, people are migrating from one country to another country. Now, there are two major concepts that is immigration and emigration. Generally, people are confused in these two concepts. Let's see what are these concepts. So, what is emigration? Emigration means act of leaving one's own country. Suppose I leave India and settled into Canada. And from India's perspective, it will be known as emigration. But from Canada's perspective, it will be known as immigration. So, what is emigration? Emigration means act of leaving one's own country. And what is immigration? Immigration means act of entering into the country for the purpose of taking permanent residence ship. Now, we will study the meaning of balancing equation. So, what is balancing equation? Balancing equation means that we study the change in total population. So, how we study this balancing equation? Suppose I have to calculate balancing equation for the year 2020. So, I took the base year 2010. So, the difference between these 10 years, the difference between the change in total population of these 10 years will be known as balancing equation. Balancing equation is used to estimate the unknown component of any population change. Now we have to study the meaning of census. We all know that census is conducted in India after 10 years. Last census was conducted in year 2011 and now it will be conducted in year 2021. So what does census measures? Census is the collection of information regarding socio-economic conditions. It measures the income of the people, the density of population, the migration, the birth rates, the death rates. 
it measures all aspects of demography so census is conducted after every 10 years the question has been asked many times in exams about this census so the main question about the census is it is conducted after every 10 years now we will study the meaning of life table what is life table life table is also known as actuarial table so what life table measures life table measures the probability of the people to die before their next birthday it only measures the probability it may be or may not be the people can die before their next birthday or cannot die before their next birthday now we will study the meaning of doubling time what is doubling time doubling time means the time taken by the population of an area to double for example, the time taken for the population of India to double is 10 years. So the doubling time for India will be 10 years. Now what is infant mortality rate? Infant mortality rate means the number of deaths of infants under age 1 per 1000 live births in a year. Now we will study the meaning of stable population and stationary population. So what is stable population? Stable population means that fertility rates and mortality rates are constant. But stationary population means that the fertility rates and mortality rates are equal to each other. This occurs in the fourth stage of the demographic transition theory of C.P. Blecker. He has shown that in his fourth stage, birth rates are equal to death rates. And in the fifth stage, death rates exceeds birth rates like we have seen in the corona period. Now we will study three major concepts related to demography. The meaning of demography, meaning of the demographic transition and the meaning of the demographic momentum. So what is the meaning of demography? Demography is the study of sizes, densities, growth rate of population, their fertility rates, their mortality rates, their migration rates. All these rates are studied in the demography. So what is demographic transition? What is demographic transition? Demographic transition is the change from high birth rate and death rates to the low birth rate and death rates. The theory of demographic transition has been given by C.P. Blacker and Carl Sachs. So what is demographic momentum? Demographic momentum is the growth rate of population due to young population. It is only the growth rate due to young population because old age population may be falling. Demographic momentum shows the growth rate of population in absolute numbers even though the growth rate of population in percentage terms may be falling. So it generally includes the young population. It includes the age structure of young population. I hope you have understood all these terms. If you like this video, please comment in the comment box and share this video. Thank you.